Now, just a week ago, the MP for Rochester and Strood, Mark Reckless, took his party by surprise when he defected to UKIP. In his resignation speech, he said there were a number of issues that persuaded him to turn away from the Conservatives, including the decision to build housing on the Who Peninsula in his constituency. Well, in a minute, we'll be speaking to Medway Council and asking why they gave permission for the de development. But first, Sarah has been to Who to talk to campaigners, including Mr Reckless. This peaceful corner of the Who Peninsula in Medway is caught up in a political storm that some say poses fundamental questions about national government planning policy. The question is, should this abandoned army barracks and the surrounding land make way for what is essentially a new town? Medway Council thinks it should. But Lodge Hill in Chattenden is a protected wildlife site. Despite that, plans for 5,000 new homes and the associated schools, health and leisure services have been given outline approval on an area spanning more than 300 hectares. Nightingales are at the centre of the row. The bird, famed for its melodious song, is in decline. But the rambling hedgerows here, on what was deemed a brownfield site, are now home to 84 pairs of nightingales, a population so large that the land has been designated as a site of special scientific interest, or triple SI. It's vegetation which is starting to come back and return. The RSPB says layers, to build here shrubs, would go against national hills. government planning policy. If this site is developed, what message does that send out for other pr proposals of this size nationwide? Well, yeah, it sends a national precedent that despite the guidelines in the national planning policy framework, that even on a brownfield site such as this, although you can see how verdant it has since become, where the value of wildlife, biodiversity, the natural history is so rich, it should outweigh the need to develop. So to develop here means nowhere safe. Destruction of a protected site on this scale hasn't been seen for 20 years, according to the government advisory body Natural England. It would be unprecedented in the southeast. The developer behind the Lodge Hill scheme, Land Securities, plans to mitigate against the environmental loss by producing a new nightingale habitat 14 miles away in Essex. But it's not just about wildlife. Questions are being asked about local democracy too. Campaigners say the council is ignoring the views of local people and pushing through developments to the detriment of the area. We are forgotten when it comes to Medway. They, uh, they don't build this infrastructure, they don't listen to the people, and people are very angry, um, and they're getting angrier. And it's election time next year, and someone sooner or later has got to do some listening to the people of the peninsula. But Medway Council says it has a shortage of housing, with 6,000 people on the local authority waiting list and a target to build 1,000 new homes a year to keep up with demand. At the UKIP party conference, the former Conservative MP, Mark Reckless, cited government pressure on housing targets as one of his reasons for defecting to UKIP. Speaking before his defection, he said he wants the Secretary of State to intervene at Lodge Hill. I think for too long the council have recited the mantra of Lodge Hill. They've ignored the fact it's now protected as a site of special scientific interest, as a bird sanctuary. But also I think they're just trying to build far too many houses. We used to complain about the Labour Party imposing houses and back then it was 815 a year was the target. The Conservative-led Medway Council, under pressure from a Conservative-led government, is now saying we have to build over 1,000 uh, a year. And I'm going to fight it. The army still occasionally uses this land for training. But when the soldiers leave, will development here march on? Or will planners find a way to resolve the conflict between huge housing needs and the preservation of wildlife habitats?